Good morning, welcome to day four of our Disney vlogs. We are at Epcot. We took the Skyliner over from Caribbean Beach and we are here for early entry. It's about 8.20. So we're gonna try to make it over to Frozen to kind of rope drop early entry. The girls are in all of their little Elsa and Anna dresses. Super cute. So of course we have to do Frozen and then we're gonna hop in line as soon as we're done there for the Anna and Elsa meet and greet. Fingers crossed, lines aren't too long, but that is our game plan this morning. This was a very strange rope drop experience. They're having us go all the way around through Canada so that we can get back to Norway, and they held everyone here till right at 8.30. Super interesting, I've never seen them do it this way before, but I don't know, I wish we would have known because we kind of wasted a little bit of time walking over to France to go that direction, and they had us go back. So, I don't know, maybe double check before if you are trying to rope drop Frozen. Make sure you know which direction they are corralling people. We made it. We're in line. I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, but I'm definitely sweating. <laughs> Ellie, are you excited? We're going to go on the Frozen ride? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? So Frozen ended up being about a 15 minute wait, which wasn't bad at all, considering what the line kind of looked like. They said it was gonna be 30 minutes, it was 15. Not too bad, I think it was 15, I didn't time it. If Ashley has a different time in her vlog, let's go with that one. <laughs> but we are getting in line for the Anna and Elsa meet and greet right now. They open in about 10 minutes. So we are just hanging out to go meet Anna and Elsa. Let's go girls, come on. Are we in Anna and Elsa's house? Yeah. Is it cool? Is this Anna's kitchen? Yeah. And Elsa's kitchen too. Yeah. Hey. We need to eat at the beginning of your kitchen. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're gonna be right back. Where are you going? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you like my hair back? Okay. You told me two times already. They're going to be so much fun, aren't they? It's like you all are going on lots of adventures for your sister today. Are you going up to the Adams Collins for your sister day? Marshmallow and August. I'm so excited to see you. Come on over, I promise. Plus the cold you left your, you have a dress just like Queen Anna at home. Or does that mean we should find something that all five of us wear together? We just wrapped up the Anna and Elsa meet and greet and Ellie did pretty good. She can only hang for so long though. If we try to pressure her into more pictures, she is just done and gets really upset. But she's good for the first couple of minutes. You know, it was really cute and the girls in their dresses, I mean, it was adorable. Good job. Here, jump to this big one. Good job. Good job. Again. All right, Ashley and I are doing rider swap for Guardians of the Galaxy. 
So this playground back here, we have all three girls just camped out there and Ashley and I are just switching who is the adult that stays with all three toddlers. <laughs> so I just wrapped up my 30, 40 minutes with them. Um, Y'all, if you have three kids, you're my hero. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I'm headed to Guardians of the Galaxy right now for our individual lightning lane. Hopefully it doesn't start downpouring while I'm in the ride. Ashley and I were strategizing, what in the world do you do if it starts raining if one of us is gone? So I think we've got a plan. We're gonna meet back up in the baby care center if there's some kind of rain disaster, but I'm gonna get on Guardians. <laughs> doesn't get old, seriously. I got the song one way or another and I was hoping that I would get that one next, honestly. I really love that song. I got September a couple of times and we did the Christmas overlay, so I haven't done it with any other song other than uh, September. So I was excited to, whew, it's getting a little windy and I can feel raindrops. <laughs> I was excited to get a different song, but I'm gonna try to beat the rain <laughs> and head back to Ashley with the girls at the playground and we're probably going to seek shelter somewhere. About two minutes later, it started pouring. The plan that Ashley and I had was to meet up in the baby care center, but she somehow got all three toddlers and two strollers from the playground to the baby care center all by herself. So Ashley, you are amazing. But I also wanted to share a little bit about the baby care center. So this is one of the larger ones out of all four of the parks. Right when you walk in to the right, there's this room with movies and shows playing. So really great for your little one to have a space to kind of relax and unwind. And then off to the left, you have a small kitchen area where you can also purchase anything that your little one might need throughout the day. So snacks, medications, diapers, pull-ups. You also have this private nursing room. So really great if you need a quiet air conditioned space to feed your baby. There's also tables and chairs, restrooms, and then you have this large changing room that's kept clean after every use. The baby care center here is open for anyone to use at any point during the day. So make sure to check it out on your next trip to Epcot. All right, the rain cleared up. My hair's a little poofy, but you know, what's a Disney rainy day without poofy frizzy hair? Now we are gonna walk around the World Showcase and grab a few bites to eat while we are making our way to the Skyliner for nap time since we're nearing 12 o'clock, so we're kind of pushing it, but we're gonna try to grab at least a couple of things on our way out. My favorite thing to do for festivals is to get a preloaded gift card. They have a specialty gift card like bracelets for each festival. We did this for Festival of the Holidays and it worked out great. Highly recommend that way. Getting food and drinks is just a lot easier. And then a sweet cast member <laughs> gave Ellie one too. Hers is, you know, empty, but super sweet. Do you have your Festival of the Arts bracelet? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And mommy has one too. Mommy has one too. Becca. Becca has one? What? No. It's mommy. No, it's mom. <laughs> well, it's raining again. <laughs> And I just got my gift card, but Ashley and her girls they went on and we are hanging back because I Think Ellie has a little more time in her, but the last time I was here for Festival of the Arts It was a rainy kind of drizzly cold day too. So I'm like, oh, I really want to enjoy this festival And it's so hard when it's raining, but I'm gonna try to make the most of it and you never know this could blow over in like five minutes So we'll see. It's pretty crazy out there. Oh my word, the wind came out of nowhere. It's not even raining crazy hard. It's just the wind. Oh my word. <laughs> the rain finally cleared up a little bit. Ellie is being such a good sport. She's just coloring. <laughs> and I'm finally gonna get some food. Here you go, Ellie. Here. Wear that as a, as a sweater. You wanna wear it as a blankie? Okay, there you go. It's your blankie. <laughs> it's an empanada. Okay. 
Do I have it on my face? No. I do. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it on my face? I do. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> is it all gone? Did I get it? Yeah. It's gone? All right. The last time I was here for this grilled cheese and tomato soup, it was also raining. This was my solo trip, was it last year? Yes, a full year ago, I did my very first solo trip. Like, no toddler, no nothing. I was here alone. And I got this tomato soup and grilled cheese and fell in love. Best thing in this entire festival. It is so good. I just got the regular grilled cheese. I didn't get the one with the pimento or fried green tomatoes because I'm hoping Ellie will have a few bites of this. She is very content coloring in the stroller, which works out great for me. <laughs> that means I can do my thing at the festival, eat and drink, and she is super content. So I'm gonna give her a bite of this and hopefully she likes it. We are leaving Epcot. I look like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gonna go get back on the Skyliner and head back to Caribbean Beach. I want to say I haven't even looked at my phone. I don't know what time it is. It's probably 1:30, I would guess. I don't know. Ellie's doing great though, <laughs> so she's saying don't go, don't go. <laughs> but I know that we need to, and I know that she needs a nap. So I will check back in when we come back to Epcot later today. We are on our way back to Epcot. Ellie took a two-hour nap in the room. I'm so thankful. It has significantly cooled down. I'm talking, I think it's 58 degrees right now <laughs> from when I checked, and it's dropping. It's supposed to get down to 52, 51, like by firework time. <laughs> and I just have leggings and sweatshirts. Like, I don't have winter clothes with us. I didn't bring coats or anything. <laughs> So we're in sweatshirts and I'm still cold. So that just goes to show February, January-ish time, you just never know what the weather is gonna be. The other day, I was in shorts and a tank top and sweating and today I'm freezing in leggings and a sweatshirt. But we are going to hop on the Skyliner. Ashley and her girls, they are still resting back in the room and they're gonna meet up with us a little bit later. So we're on our way back, just the two of us. And I'm gonna try to find some booths that I wasn't able to make it to during lunch this afternoon. And thankfully, you guys, when I came back, I realized, Ashley noticed, I had spicy mustard on my chin the entire afternoon. So as I go back to watch these vlogs, I'm gonna have mustard all over my face. It's so embarrassing. We made it back to Epcot. There was a truffle croissant in the Italy pavilion that was calling my name. So I'm gonna check and see how long the line is for that. It may be crazy now, especially since the rain has cleared, the crowds have returned. We'll see what the line looks like. If it's too long, mm, yeah, it's looking pretty lengthy. I might keep walking and come back a little bit later. Usually when you come, like right before park close, the lines are pretty short. So that might be, oh yeah, line is way too long. <laughs> okay, well, we'll come back for that truffle croissant later tonight. I'm gonna see what else I can find, kind of just wandering around and we'll see what else looks good. And we got Ellie a Pluto. Ellie, do you love your Pluto? Yeah. Yeah. I has a tail. He has a tail. <laughs> Did you take a nap with Pluto? <laughs> you did? Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty cute. He has toes. He has toes. <laughs> and Ellie has toes. You have toes too. And Daddy has toes. Okay, so we stopped in China and I decided to go with the work bun. Okay, it's kind of messy, but. We're gonna go for it. Mm. If Andy were here, he would comment on my mm, my like approval face. But it's really good. It has this like sweet and savory sauce to it with this soft, like almost doughy bun to it. And the pork is really tender. But I would give this seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's pretty good. I'm looking at the ducks. I'm <laughs> You are? I'm playing. What are you doing? I work. I work. No, uh, What are you doing? Yeah? 
We finished up with our grilled cheese and we are gonna check out the Turtle Talk with Crush show, which somehow we have never done before. This is another one that I really wish Andy was here for because I keep hearing that it is absolutely hilarious. I'm very excited about this. Are you excited, Ellie Rose? Yeah. You are? Yeah. We're gonna do the Nemo show? All the fish. Those are jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah, you have toes. It's toes. Okay. Still super fit. In fact, everybody, check this out. Washboard. <laughs> she taught me. Nice. Oh, if she were here. Um. I am here. Woo! Well, that's freaking. Okay, everybody, repeat after me. Hello. some pizza well it's just some cheesy bread from uh, where were we France <laughs> so we are camping out waiting for the fireworks to start we're right on the bridge at the International Gateway so we figured this would be a pretty good spot to kind of duck out as soon as they're done so that we can be pretty close to the Skyliner That was the most wild <laughs> Skyliner ride. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Ellie and Lucy, they are just loopy at this hour and it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> we'll probably have some bloopers from, <laughs> from this Skyliner <laughs> ride. Today we'll have bloopers, but today <laughs> Yeah, this one has them. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We are headed to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. So if you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to stick around and catch the rest of these trip vlogs. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.